I'm James Heaton, president of Tronvig, a brand strategy and management consulting firm that has been working with the National Museum of Women in the Arts since 2014. When we were originally brought on, they were contemplating their 30th anniversary, and that had instigated a kind of internal assessment of the organization and a recognition that public expectations with regard to museums had evolved and that they needed to change in order to stay relevant. The overall perception for those who knew about the museum was that it was kind of stuffy, potentially my grandmother's museum. So we started with our common practice of putting together a interdepartmental, multi-level brain trust of the organization and asking them a set of fundamental questions, the yield from which is a brand pyramid. What is the organization? How does it deliver value differently than its competitors? What are the emotional reasons that people would engage with us? What are our core values? What is the one thing that we stand for out in the world? We ask these questions of every exhibition and of the institution as a whole. At the outset of our project, they were operating from a brand positioning standpoint as a repository of art by women, a kind of collections-based institution. And what emerged out of our findings was that they wanted to be a champion of women through the arts. Supporting the brand idea of champion women through the arts, we established a new set of core values, champion, open, fresh. In order for those three values to be more than just words, we ran alignment workshops with every single employee. This also resulted in a number of modifications to the programming lineup, rehanging the collection on all three floors where the permanent collection is hung. This meant that we also needed to update the visual brand. Uh, we moved from a rather wallflowerish brand focused on the building to a more open and fresh uh, visual and typographic treatment. The line on the logo replaces the building and becomes an element that can interact with other graphic features of a design. The identity system was more open in and fresh feeling in terms of color while not alienating uh, any of their sort of traditional constituencies. We also updated the collateral uh, in accordance with the new brand system. Over the course of the last five years, we've now had 12 ad campaigns for special exhibitions. To touch on a couple of the campaigns, What is Natural had to deal with two different uh, simultaneous exhibitions that had a theme uh, relating to nature. So what was the most sort of provocative question that we could ask? She Who Tells a Story was a kind of perfect storm exhibition where we had a topical theme and a easily approachable artwork uh, created by Arab and uh, Middle Eastern women. Uh, Black Abstract, the actual exhibition title was uh, Magnetic Fields, but the target was Black audiences in D.C., which had not traditionally been flocking to the museum. We were able to speak directly to them uh, that yielded significant attendance uh, for a museum exhibition of abstract art by Black women artists. Leveraging a pre-existing fan base, Rodarte was an exhibition of the Malavi sisters' fashion over the last 10 years and did uh, remarkably well. More recently, Ursula von Riddingsvard, a uh, retrospective of her work, garnered a great deal of media attention uh, in the art world and elsewhere. And most recently, uh, the latest works of feminist icon Judy Chicago combined with Live Dangerously, an exhibition uh, curated by the museum. So for each special exhibition, we devise custom advertising tactics. We think about the tactical human level interface, including bus shelter placement, on building signage, and the results of this have been significant over time. 
For example, when we conducted our baseline brand survey for the organization in 2015, 9% of respondents said that it was the signage that made them aware of what was happening in the museum. When we redid that survey in 2018, that number had risen to 22%. We also augmented a social media derived campaign, which we call the Five Women Artists Campaign. This poses the question, can you name five women artists? Some of the results include the participation of over 625 organizations from around the world, with over 9,000 individual participants in the campaign. Some of the organizations participating include the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the National Gallery of London, the National Museum of African American History, the Uffizi Gallery, Guggenheim Bilbao, and obviously many others. We've tracked average daily exhibition attendance over the last six years, and we've seen a steady and consistent increase, now reaching the point of 77% over baseline. We've also seen our media coverage increase year over year, now 75% over baseline. In our brand survey conducted in 2015 and 2018, the original survey has a question about what association do you have with the National Museum of Women in the Arts? The most common response in 2015 was beautiful. In 2018, the most common response was inspiring, with 17% of the respondents bringing that up as their first association with the museum. We also track detailed institutional results exhibition by exhibition. And you can see how initially, as we started our work, we had to put a great deal of media thrust behind the attendance for special exhibitions. But over time, we've been able to get that increased yield in terms of exhibition attendance without the extra media spend. We've also put into practice the net promoter survey question for every special exhibition so that we can compare exhibition over exhibition. And we've moved from the time we began that work somewhere in the mid, at the midpoint of our brand transition where we were at 65 and we're now up to an average net promoter score per exhibition of 80. It's been a remarkable journey over the past five plus years as we have worked collaboratively as an extended member of the National Museum of Women in the Arts team 